to Democrats in California, and they say the most authoritarian things. They don't know that the Earth orbits the sun. The average Democrat has got to be the stupidest person on the planet. Well, maybe they think they're smart because they've learned how to get uh, free money. And uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, these polls are, are really very, very revealing. And uh, they, these people who are coming in uh, are people who have no experience with our type of government. You've heard people say that we are an exceptional country. Uh, that word isn't even strong enough. America is unique. There's no other country that is built on the idea of limited government, as Thomas Jefferson said, bind them down from mischief with the chains of the Constitution. And we think they ought to keep their spending down and keep taxes low and so forth. And other countries don't, don't even understand that. They, they depend on the government for uh, practically to walk across the street, whether they can or not. And uh, they, they don't know what we're talking about when we say we want a smaller government doing less. And uh, so we you bring in the people who want the government running things, who want the government uh, doing ha handouts, uh, you're going to get more Democratic votes. Why are you surprised? Well, you're certainly right. And... America was hyper unique, hyper exceptional by every metric of inventions, trailblazing, military activity, just on every front, literature, art. We have been the flower of the Renaissance in the last uh, 230 plus years. And now we see all the prosperity going out the window as we follow the globalist collectivist program that always creates rack and ruin. Well, all of these trade agreements, uh, which are presented in the name of globalism and getting along in the world and free trade and all those slogans, uh, they create jobs and investment in other countries. They, they don't create them in this country. We lose jobs. And, and uh, it's a... It's a real betrayal. This is why the middle class has been shrinking every year under the Obama administration. And uh, so... Uh, it, it, it's just this new report that I have out. It's a 40-page report. And it's available on my website, uh, eagleform.org. And just to give you another example, one poll found that 81% of native-born Americans uh, believe our schools should teach that students should be proud to be American. But only 50%, only half of the immigrants, even after they're naturalized, believe that. And, you know, these, uh, these amnesty advocates like to uh, compare our current uh, immigration with what we were bringing in around 1920. And the people who came in from Western Europe in 1920 uh, all wanted to be uh, real Americans. I, I have any number of friends who told me when they came as a teenager and landed at Ellis Island in New York, and their mother or father would say, now we're in America, and we're going to be Americans, and we're going to speak English, and this is our country now. And that's not the way they feel about it today. Uh, the ones who are coming in seem to maintain their allegiance to their own, their, own, their own country. And when you take the oath of citizenship, you're supposed to renounce all allegiance to any king, potentate, foreign government of any kind. And I don't know whether they recite all that. But it's obvious they don't believe it because the polls all show that uh, they're not proud to be an American. And uh, they uh, really don't believe in the type of government, of limited government, that made our country uh, the most prosperous and the freest country on the face of the earth. That's right. You can't argue with the cold, hard, scientific, sociological, geopolitical facts um, I want to go to break here and come back and get into some more of the poll numbers that are uh, on the site uh, for everybody that wants to go check them out. Eagleforum.org, absolutely essential. Phyllis Shafley is our guest right now. And when we come back, I'm going to let her continue to get into the battle. What's happening currently on Capitol Hill? Uh, tireless fighter. I guess it's more than 60 years she's been battling, uh, 89 years old and joining us today as sharp as ever, it's the same age as my grandmother, uh, and is battling the tyrants here today. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say it again. Nobody's got open borders like we do. Nobody brings in foreigners and throws them right on welfare. Nobody. Nobody. It, it is simply insane. 
It is simply insane how our hospitality has been used by the globalists to bring in a foreign force of politicos. We'll be right back. I'm Alex Jones. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Extend your life with Extend So, Dad, you're sounding a lot better. How have you been feeling since your heart attack? Well, son, I am feeling a lot better. Ever since your sister ordered me a bottle of Heart Drop 2000's Extendivite for my heart. Heart Drop? Extendivite? What's that? Well, it, it's just seven herbs that are approved for helping keep my heart healthy. That's great, Dad. I was getting worried about you. I am so glad it's helping. So am I, son. I'm very glad your sister got it for me. I wish I had known about it before my heart attack. Yeah, but would you have taken it, though? You know, I'm not sure if I would have, but I'm awful glad I'm taking it now. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extend Over. Hi there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are. Incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Jones here back live. Phyllis Shafley, by the way, is a constitutional lawyer and, of course, a uh, mother who had, I think it's six children, and she's had a whole bunch of best selling books. We're going to talk about her newest bestseller, where Obama is waging war on the First Amendment and not just the others. Uh, religious freedom is within the First Amendment. We're going to talk to her about that in the next segment. In the short one, though, uh, Phyllis, please, because you're, you're pausing and letting me jump in, I want you to roll here uh, because you've got all the deep data and the research. Break down what it means if they get this next crop of illegals legalized. Obviously, then the next group, the next, we're in total checkmate. 
politically because uh, because these folks are voting in a collectivist um, manner. And I've tried to reach out to the quote immigrant population with some success, but we just can't reach enough of them. Uh, a, is there any way to turn this around? B, how do we beat it? And what's going on in Washington? Thank goodness for talk radio because the mainstream media is, uh, is concealing the whole thing. And there are two powerful lobbying groups that are pushing for more uh, more illegal and legal immigration. And uh, they are the big business crowd who want cheap labor. And then, of course, the Democrats who want the vote. And my report, which is now available on evilforum.org, it's 40 pages, there's a lot of uh, st uh, statistical stuff. Uh, if you want uh, the abbreviated uh, every man's version, you can ask for my Phyllis Schlafly report called Does the Republican Party Have a Future? But in any event, what these polls consistently show is that three-fourths of the Hispanics coming in want a bigger government providing more services. I'm talking about services like health care, Obamacare, and only a tiny percentage even understand or want a smaller government. And you know that if, uh, if we want to leave a country of freedom, and prosperity to our children and grandchildren, we've got to cut down the size of government, stop these executive actions that Obama is taking on his own, which he is un doing unilaterally and says he can do whatever he wants with his pen. And uh, we have to realize that these people coming in, uh, the overwhelming majority of them, want the government providing big services, and which is, of course, very uh, costly in every way. Expanding on that, look at what a monumental fraud and a deception Obamacare is. Everything that's being pushed is really bad for the overall population, bad for common sense, bad for fairness. But still, people that are part of the Democratic Party cult uh, just don't care. They, they just think they've won. And then you've got the people like Boehner and others that... Uh, are bought off by the same interest. I mean, what do we do about this? Well, the facts are so overwhelming. For example, the Congressional Budget Office, which certainly is not a right-wing source, said that Obamacare is going to cost us uh, over two million jobs, and uh, mostly by companies reducing the number of hours that their employees can work. And the Obama administration p tried to put a happy face on this by saying, oh, that's great. People will have more free time. They'll be able to do more fun things that they want to do when they're not working. Well, that's not the way you get ahead, and that's not the way you support your family. Uh, we, we believe in, in work and full-time work, and we hope guys will have a good job full-time that's going to be able to support his family. But that isn't what Obama wants. He wants to cut the amount of work people are doing, so they're working less hours, getting less money, and then they have their uh, insurance uh, paid for by the taxpayers. It's all so rotten, Alex, I, uh, it, and, and the high-handed dictatorial way that Obama's doing it is amazing. But these polls are very compelling in showing uh, what the people think about this. And, and they're not voting for amnesty. They're voting for handouts by the government. And they get that by voting Democratic. And then they'll support literally making those of us that produce... They're slaves, and then George Soros and Warren Buffett, big con constituents of the Democrats and big um, recipients of, 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 of corporate welfare, and, they, and then they write the laws to be exempt from the taxes. They're lobbying to raise taxes on the middle class. This takes us back to a democracy where two wolves can vote to eat the sheep for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be a, a joke if it weren't so really tragic. Uh, the, the way they, uh, the way are manipulating the people and making them think that the government is the the source of uh, goodness and money and and the number of people who are now on food stamps, uh, the number of people who get housing supplements, the EITC, 
the earned income tax credit that just uh, gives you a bigger tax free refund than you were entitled to otherwise. Phyllis, I've got to interrupt you. Stay right there. One more segment with you, Phyllis Shafley, eagleforum.org, to read all the reports. We're going to come right back to you. I want to finish up with those numbers. Then I want to get into the overall unitary executive, what your new book's about. We're on the march.